Welcome to this new mod map, Map Tour, with me, Mr. Silly P. This is the Tyrolean Alps. This is new to console today. I think this has been out on PC before, and it has had an update. One of the update parts being that it's now available for console. There you go. One thing I was going to point out helicopter flying over. Just incredible. Um, this is by Sue Tiroler Bauer. Uh, based around where they live, as far as I can uh, work out from the mod hub. Um, I've been round and had a look already, and this is one of the most incredible maps I've come across. It's just... it's blown my mind. Um, this is going to be a Marmite map. You are either going to love this, or you are going to hate it with a passion. Um, if this is a small machinery map. There are very few fields, very small fields. You can buy lots of plots of land. There'll be plenty of opportunity for logging. But as we go around this map, you're going to understand why. <laughs> why some people are not going to like this a lot. Um, I think it's amazing. Just... Uh, right, let's have a look on the map. Let's, anyway. <laughs> let's get going, shall we? The map looks like this. We have a valley that runs right the way up the middle here, well, say, roughly up the middle. Um, but it starts high this end, low down to a lake at the bottom here. All our fields are clustered around this area here and along the valley sides and the valley walls. But all of this is explorable and buyable um, and crazy, but in a phenomenal way, just... Anyway, I'm on New Farmer, on New Farmer mode, We've already used 619 out of 1,299 slots, which is horrendous when you look around the map. What do we start with with regard to fields and land? All of this. This is our main farm just here. We start with field 8, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Um, plots are fairly expensive, weirdly. Um, 116 grand, that one there's 42, which isn't too bad. So we've got a few small plots that we can start off with. But then we've got these bigger plots outside where you're going to see there's a lot of forestry areas, which I think is absolutely brilliant. But there are going to be parts of this map that you're going to find it very difficult to do anything with. I would say livestock would be a great way to go on this. But there's a whole swaths of land you can buy. I mean, this one up here, 1,102,000. Craziness! Um, biogas plant does need to be purchased if you're going to use it. It's down here and it's only 70,000? 70, 71. 70,848, so just under 71,000. Um, uh, as far as I've been looking online, um, and the Tyrolean Alps are in Western Austria. Um... I'm just going to get into this, I'm going to have to. Um, contracts are available, uh, obviously only one at the moment. They don't pay out a huge amount because the fields are very, very small. Um, let's have a look around the main farm where we start off. We've got a lot of modded stuff here. Uh, we've got a hayloft, which is incredible. Uh, we've got a farmhouse. The helicopter's going to come back around again in a minute. Um, these, they don't work on console, but for transporting goods up and down the mountainsides. Like little mini ski lifts, kind of. One comes up here into the farm, like for milk churns and various other bits and bobs. There's another one that runs off the back. But looking around here, at the scenery and the landscape, you can see it is steep. Proper. This is one of our fields. <laughs> um, that's what I mean about it being incredible. I haven't come across anything like this. Maps that are you know, similar, but not not like this at all. Um, sleeping through the night is done in here. Upstairs, in the bedroom. If we can go up there, just here. I'm not tired at the moment, but that's good. Now, is the map perfect? No. As you can see by some of the, con uh, the textures here, um, some of the textures aren't great. Now, I have said this before, sometimes the conversion over from PC to console wipes out some of the textures that have been achieved on PC. Inside seems a little bit worse than outside. But I have to say, for all those things, there are 101 other things that more than, more than make up for that. It's steep. 
and we do start with a fair bit of equipment and we do start with um all of the animal pens all here and they are all modded um if we scroll across here actually let's go to garage first we start with the fent 310 a fent favorite 511 a bison super a pickup we've got farm tech tdk 1600 header for the harvester we've got a uh, plow cultivator mower wind rower loading wagon weight now the large cow pasture horse paddock pig enclosure are all modded ones you'll see in a minute as is the chicken coop and the sheep pen there's a grain silo we'll get to that later on hayloft we start with uh, farm garage and the farmhouse itself now if you start on farm manager mode you don't have anything you don't have any of the plots of land you don't own any of that you don't have any of these the farmhouse the animal pens the vehicles nothing and your um, slot count will be 446 out of 1299 so that being said this is brilliant <laughs> if i press circle <gasps> that's incredible anyway we're gonna move away from that so all of our pens are well here we've got one up there and one down the back which we're going to get to in a minute and they're custom and they're all squashed right into this one area here now if i can get the right one where are we why won't it let me do this it did earlier right cow pasture is just here to our left that's this one here we've got round the back here lost it where is it where is it horses just here so it's cows just there horses here pigs here that's a nice touch I haven't come across helicopter before planes plenty of but yeah, wow. And then we go through the yard. We have got water points. There's fountains. That's the entrance, or where you sort out for the hayloft. Putting in, I'm not too sure. I think it might be up the top here. There we go. We put into our hayloft up the top here. And we get out down the bottom here. Just there. Now we have got this here i don't know if that's a digestate tank it doesn't show as a mod but it does have a hazard marked area here oh that could be the slurry tanks couldn't it for the animals could be uh we've got over here chickens and some more of our machinery like i said it's a quite tight yard you're not going to be using big machinery on this map there's your chickens and up around the top here and as we come up here we've got our sheep just here wall pallets will spawn here so we've got another one of those lifts that goes up there's various different bits of static um bits of static there are static animals around the map but yeah that goes off up onto there um well where do i start um i'm gonna go and grab the pickup i'm gonna take you out around the, the back of just this is crazy. Just jump in that. I'm going to head out to a part of the map that you don't own any of yet, and there's no cell points out there, but I just want to show you this because I just think it's just it's incredibly steep. And these are some of our fields too, off round the back of here. Farming this. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be doing field work here. If you're going to make bales, <laughs> can you imagine where they're going to go? Um, anyway. This is super steep. Super bumpy. If you are going to do forestry, this is going to be a challenge. This gets even steeper. It's probably only supposed to be for mountain goats, ibex, and various different animals like the hat. Please keep going. Plucky little pickup. Look at the angle on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yes, in real life that wouldn't happen, but it wouldn't work. But anyway. So we've got all this grass up here as well. 
which you can buy, but what I'm interested in is going up over here. So I want to show you something. This is why this is this map is mind boggling, confounding and just look through here. Opens out into this next valley with a big lake, a couple of cabins and huts. Goes round the corner, you've got like an alpine, almost like a little ski lodge tucked up around the back. The valley then goes over another crest over the back here into another valley. We are at the moment all the way out here so this isn't one of those maps where you can only use the bit in the middle and the rest of it you can't actually access you can get all around this what I will do is I'll skip back to the yard in a minute now cell points as they go we've got various different cell points we've only got one main cell point for everything uh, then we've got a spinnery we have got a barn cell point we have got a sawmill We've got somewhere, it's like a biomass heating plant where you do you take your wood chips. Um, which way do I go through here, I guess? Yes, yeah, so it's like, almost like a little ski lodge. Right up here in the middle of nowhere. Another valley with more grass. It just, I don't know, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now obviously on console, the distance textures as you look further off obviously they don't look fantastic close in they're absolutely brilliant when we get down towards the river here I just think it's amazing again it's my opinion you, you might not think that at all but I've never encountered anything like it right I'm going to go back to the yard and I'll see you there in a second so, as I was saying about cell points, um, we've got the uh, Ball and Verkauf, which is your bale cell point. We'll get to that later on. Uh, Fernheitswerk Werk Reutenbach is your biomass, I think. Landhandel is the main cell point where you're going to be selling pretty much everything. You then got uh, Reutenbacher Beer, which is basically a brewery, um, and you can do your wheat and barley there. Then you've got Reutenbacher Milch, which is obviously for your milk, and your eggs will be sold there. Then you've got the spinnery, which is where your wool and your cotton uh, get sold. Um, <laughs> there is the biogas plant, but you have to own that, and once you own that, that pops up. There is also um, a sawmill, but that's not on here for some reason. I'm not too sure why. So, let's jump in the tractor. Now, around the yard, I may well have missed something. I apologise if I have. But there are, around this map, and I want to get round it and, and show you as much as I can. And again, I would always urge, even if I, you know, when I do my first look, or first look for you guys, I've kind of already had it round. Um, explore the map, because I will miss things. There's, there's stuff on this map, especially this map, loads and loads of stuff that you just need to explore. But there are some incredible features. Now, something that may irritate people potentially is the fact that to get anywhere is quite a long drive um, to any of the cell points. But to do that, you're taking in some amazing scenery um, vistas and drops and bridges and waterfalls and just, yeah. Now there are little tracks dotted around all over the place, which can give you shortcuts down to various different bits. They're quite steep. So here we come into the first part of the main town, Reutenbach. There's a little field just here, Field 13, which we own, uh, starting on new farmer if we turn here kind of onto the road and you've got this little alpine resort it's just 
it's amazing. Um, so, here we've got the livestock market for collecting or buying, selling of your livestock. We've got moving forward. On our right, we've got the milk sell point. Now, I'm not sure, too sure where exactly it is. I think it's here. It's what it shows on the map. Um, in fact, it definitely says Reutenbacher Milch, or Milch, but, um, and cheese. Well, not as you sell cheese, but I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's got to be down the side here. There's no hazard marked area for it, but I, I'm, like I say, I would guess so, but you've got this little feature here. Where you've got a lot of these uh, exclamation marks. If you press circle. It's little things. Little touches. Heading onwards, we come to the next set of cell points. Which is the biomass plant. Um, well, I'll show you the rest of it. <laughs> anyway, so wood chip cell point is just here. So your biomass plant which is here, you tip into this. Obviously, it produces power, and you get paid for your wood chips. But opposite here, and this is what I'm thinking about detail. You've got obviously we're in the resort and it's off season, so there's no snow on the hills. But you've got all these ski lifts, chair lifts. It's incredible detail. Just wow, well, okay, comes out of the again. It's good to know we've got helicopter emergency medical service black and about just in case you need them. Right, we're going to continue on round the bend and we're going to head down towards uh Reutenbacher Milch. I love the fact that you've got this stuff here for working on the on the roads and the hills and clearing the snow in the winter and that kind of thing. Again, it's just more detail, it just all adds, adds to it. Another stair lift, right off there. We're going to take a right just there. Oh, there you go, there's our uh, medical centre with helicopters. And we'll come down through the trees here. We are at Rutenbarker Beer. So your wheat and barley can be sold just there. Now, as far as where we are on the map, we are now at the northern point up here on the map. You can go further up, but as far as cell points go and the roadways and that kind of thing. Now you can carry on the main roadway and come down here. I've cut down here to Reutenbarker, uh, Reutenbarker beer. Um, what we're going to do now is go right and we're going to go to the store. Tracks off into the forests for logging and right. So here's our store. If you need to reset anything for any particular reason, especially on this map, if you go off a cliff and roll it down into a river or something, it resets back here, back to the main store. Um, we've got our buy point, we've got our repair, sell point, customization point. But what's great as well here, look, press circle open the doors. Now, normally you don't have all this stuff in here. There's loads of stuff been added in, which I think is great. We've also got here drinks machine. <laughs> Press circle. And to be fair, I think I've just got three or four drinks. That's quite cool. Again, nice little touch. Right, come back out, close the door. There we go. So there you go, that's your store. As well, if you're, say if you're quiet, <laughs> I'm very rarely quiet, but on the higher parts of the map you can hear the wind whistling. A little bit like on Felsbrun, when you went up into the top part, part on Felsbrun you can hear it on there as well. Now like I say, is it perfect? No. There are a few little bits and bobs like this where you've got gaps and there, you know, on some maps I, I don't 
I say I don't forgive that. I mean, it sounds really arrogant, doesn't it? I don't mean that. What I mean is on some maps you get things like that and you think it's a bit sloppy. And potentially, yeah, you can, it can still be considered. But when you look at what's been done on this map, what detail is, is on it, and that's my point, you can forgive little errors, small things, because the majority of this is just phenomenal. I wouldn't say that something like that would say to me, well, that makes the, the map awful. I have been on certain maps where lots of the map has been like that, and that really does mar the whole kind of thing. Now, we can go off to the left up there into the hills. There are no cell points up there, but you're more than welcome to go for a drive up. And we do have a castle up on the hillside there, which you can also get to. I think you have to walk up to that, though, unless you're feeling particularly brave. So we're heading down the valley now. Towards more of the cell points. There's another road that runs off to the left there, again follows the valley. But details like this, the little bridges, the rope bridges across, and the bridges for the road, and the waterfalls, and the river, and I don't know, it just has a really cool feel to it. Oh, right. Oh, this is really cool. River running down. Water mill. There's things like there are certain features that, if it wasn't on there, you'd never know. You'd never know whether the map maker, because it's not on there, you wouldn't know it's not supposed to be there. But they are. Even a speed camera, look, by the side of the road. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Continuing on. Past the little garden centre. I don't think there's a cell, there's not a cell point or buy point or thing there that I'm aware of. Down the hill, they're obviously doing some work on the bend here because we have to take a shortcut around the middle here. I've had a bit of a landslide, rock fall, you never know. Field to our left. There's a little field down through there as well. Little bridges that cross all over the place. Right, now this is the sawmill. Now this isn't marked on the map. Um, but if we go around here, we have got the hazard marked area and we've got the exclamation mark for selling lumber. So the biomass is up in the little town just up there. Um, but the sawmill part for the lumber logs is just there. Like I say, it's not marked on the map, so you need to be no, kind of not wary, but that's where it is if you want to do forestry. Got another water mill just to our right. Another small field on our left coming up as well. We're continuing down the valley. Oh, have I missed it? Even like this, like where they've got the, the catches for rock falls and stuff like that to stop me hitting the road. Oh, they're coming up right now, I think. So we've got some cell points on the right. We're going to come to those in a minute. There is a bridge here, but we're going to go down to the bottom and come back onto that. On our left, we've got a fuel station. Oh no, we're coming up right now. There's a fire station, emergency services building just on the left here. With another exclamation mark. <laughs> we'll just put it in here. Don't want to block the road, but press circle. Sounds like um, an avalanche alarm, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll leave that, but. Again, it doesn't have to be on there, but it is. Not that it actually matters, you know, in real life, as you can tell by that car going straight across. No regard for you. Oh, come on. Go around you. Right, so we are now at the southern point of the map. As far as cell points and stuff go, there's a lake down to the bottom here. We're going to swing around and we're going to head to the last of the cell points. 
This is where things get a little bit odd. Across the river again, another little bridge. We come to the biogas pump, which again you do have to own. So you've got your bunker silos just there, they are quite small ones. Oops. The anaerobic digester is just there. And this here is your farm silo. Weirdly. Yeah, that's your farm silo, just here, right at the bottom of the valley. So for storing your crops, you've got a bit of a trek. There is a bit of a shortcut, but when I say shortcut, it is a, you know... I'm not sure where the digestate tank is there, though. I'm assuming it's one of the lizard ones at the back there. So, up the hill. Now we're the other side of the valley, and we're kind of heading back up the valley now. And this is the main cell point for most of your stuff. So just here, we are now, we've come all the way down, followed this all the way down, this side of the river, we've come all the way down here, we've come all the way down here, past the petrol station, fuel station, crossed over the biogas plant, we're coming back up the other side now. So this is la land handle, um, and then you've got uh, ball and Vakalf, which is your bale cell point, straw, hay, grass, etc. And there's also a lime cell point here as well. So this is your cell point land handle. Lime point, just there. And then your bale cell point is just there. Then we head up the hill. Past this if we can. And get through there. Awkward place to park. No shortage of water mills, and why wouldn't you be using them with this amount of water come up the mountains? Up the hill here. And let me chuck a left in a second, I'm not mistaken. I'm just thinking if you've done a harvest, mind you, the fields aren't very big. Um, I was going to say if you do a big harvest, but you're not really going to get much off the fields. Um, that's what I'm thinking, doing things like silage, because you've got a lot of grass around this map, doing animals, um, biogas plant grass and get loads in there, you can make your money doing that, and then you could buy feeds and stuff, I guess. Um, so the spinnery is just there, that's where you're going to be selling your wool and your, um, your cotton. Cat watching me there. Very suspicious. If I turn left, oh, there's a fox as well, there's loads of stuff dotted around this map. So coming back up the valley now, this is, I say, like I say, it's a sh sort of shortcut. Oh, another fox. Which brings us back up to the farm. There are loads of these little water fountains over the place. And we should come back up the other side. Like I say, again, there are little tracks dotted about. Another field off to our left here. Field 8, we own that one. If you start a new farmer, I'm just thinking harvesting these you're not going to get away with big headers because the field's too sloping a long header will get caught up I suppose you could run a couple of small harvesters couldn't you continuing back up the hill we should be back at the main farm at the moment Now, as far as placeables go, and placing your own farm if you don't want it to be where it is, I don't know how easy that's going to be. Finding a flat part on this map is going to prove tricky, I would imagine. There are a few bits. I suppose you could do a bit of landscaping further out, or you know, you could get away with some bits here and there, but finding a big enough expanse to be able to put a whole farm, you might have to have it dotted around a particular area, maybe, but again, that's half the fun, isn't it? It's working with the landscape you've got. And we come up the back now. Yeah. Back into the farmyard. Just here. And that's it. Like I say, I think, you know, I probably have missed stuff. And if I have, I do apologise. Um, I try to kind of get as much in as I possibly can and give you a feel for the map as we go around. 
uh, pointing out points of interest, sell points, buy points, that kind of stuff. But I just think it's incredible. If I haven't already mentioned that, if I haven't said it out loud. <laughs> Fantastic. So there you go. Uh, that's Tyrolean Alps by Sud Tirola Bauer. Um, yeah, love it or hate it. I think it's brilliant. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.